Morning, everybody. This is Cowboy Leather. I'm Scott. Welcome to the shop. It's Monday morning. We, uh, if you saw my video from Saturday, just an update. We did, in spite of the rain and cold, damp weather, we did pretty good. We had a lot of sales. We made a lot of uh, contacts. I'd say it was a uh, thumbs up. So, with that said, the reason I want to make this video is for those of you that are want to get out and get your product out there, my suggestion, now, most of this is my opinion. It works for me. It may work for you. It may not work for you. But where I'm going with this is if you want to get your product out there, I would go with craft shows, flea markets, any place where you're interacting with the public. If the public can pick your product up, look at it, see the workmanship, see the design, you're more apt to sell it than if you advertise it on uh, God knows where, wherever you want to advertise it. I've spent money trying to advertise my products and I would say it really didn't work out as well as I expected it would. But when I started going to uh, craft shows or flea markets or any place where the public can see your product, you have a better chance of making sales, repeat customers, because myself, if I'm going to look, if I'm looking at something to buy, I want to touch it. I want to see the uh, quality that it's uh, put into it. And I want to see the item. Basically, touch it, feel it, smell it, and taste it if you want. But anyways, that is my suggestion. If you want to get out there and get your product seen, deal with the public. Get out there. I know the first time you do it, it's kind of scary. But if you believe in your product and can answer people's questions and, you know, put your product out there so it looks good, then you have a very, very good chance of selling your product and someone, they'll buy it, they'll go back, their cousins, aunts, uncles, whatever, will see it and they'll go, where'd you get this? That person tells, word of mouth to me is more valuable than the printed ads. Now, you know, even if you sell on uh, eBay, Etsy, uh, Facebook Marketplace, you're getting your product out there. That is the object. There's no sense making your product if you cannot get it in the customer's hands. So I can't stress the importance of getting your product out there. There's so many different avenues. Like I said, flea markets, uh, craft shows, uh, just any place where you've got a large number of people coming and going, you will sell your product. I sold stuff Saturday that I had made and had never, basically the public hadn't seen it yet. And that was the uh, premiere of some of my stuff. So, like I said, I am pleased with the results that we had. And this is not, you know, the first one we've done. We've done, uh, I think, they've had four of them. And we've been at all four of them. I, now, I'm established. But I still go just to catch the local customers <coughs> me. yes i sell on ebay yes i've sold on etsy but
but it's, you know, getting it in the general public. And I've had re a repeat business from uh, eBay customers. They'll, they'll contact me and say, hey, are you going to make any more of this? Are you going to make any more of these? So, to me, that's telling me that, okay, they got one. They want another one. I have one eBayer that I've sold to, and they've uh, they've ordered four. I think it was four different. Uh, they purchased four different items from me, same item, but four different times. So that shows that my workmanship is there, my quality is there. Price is right, and, you know, my the item's out there. Now, when you go to these craft shows or wherever you go with the public, if you have, if you're selling from your shop, basement, or whatever, you can get one price. If you sell on eBay or any of these uh, e-commerce sites, you have another price. If you go to a craft fair or flea market, you've got another price. Each one of those you can command just a, a little bit more. I'm not saying rip the customers off, but everybody does it. They have a price at in-house, then they have another price, then they have another price. So, now, that's all I'm going to say on that. But really, if you want to sell your stuff, you have to get it out there and get it in the public's hands. That is the biggest thing I can tell you. Uh, advertisement. If you want to advertise, uh, like Facebook Marketplace, and hey, I make. Uh, just for the heck of a toilet seat, leather toilet seat covers. That's fine. You probably sell some because it'll be a novelty. But with all joking aside, you got to get your, your products out there. And I find that uh, the more I can get it in front of the public, get it in the public's hands, the better and the more sales I'm going to make. So, you know, it's up to you. You can, you know, I suggest if you're watching this video, go find somebody else that's, you know, will tell you, you know, get different ideas. Don't just take my word for it. I'm telling you what worked for me. It may not work for you. You may be in an area where, you know, people aren't interested in that. But I find at this craft fair we went to, there was people coming in from Kentucky because we're only uh, 45 minutes to an hour from the Kentucky border. So there was people from Kentucky. There was other, there was people stopping by that they were from uh, Nashville, all over the state of Tennessee, pretty much they were coming because they they just, people go to these craft festivals either to sell or to buy. Now, yes, yeah, somebody might buy one of your wallets or belts or whatever, and they may be a seller. They're going to take it back. They're going to pick it apart and they're going to reproduce. You got your money. What do you care? So don't be afraid to put your stuff in front of the public. Because without sounding like a broken record, the public is where it's at. That's who you're selling to. That's the object of the game. Sell to people. You're not, you didn't make it and take it there for to show to show it off, to show people you took it there to sell it. That's the name of the game. You make it, you sell it. 
take the money, you make more, so you can sell more. And if you do go to, we'll say a craft fair, if you got uh, 25 and up items to put in front of the public, you're increasing your chances. Because there may be somebody wanting uh, a new wallet. There may be somebody wanting a new belt. So if you've got stuff like that where you've got a variety, your your chances are, are better. You've just increased your chances. Same thing if you're gonna sell like e-commerce or you know eBay, any one of those sites. The more you got listed, the better chance you have to sell. So I don't want to make this a long video. I just wanted to kind of put it out there that if you're making it, you got to sell it. And if you want to turn a hobby into a business, you got to sell your stuff so you can make the money to keep going. So I'm going to end it here. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, tell your friends about it. But I most definitely tell you, don't take my word for it. Go look at some of these other uh, guys on YouTube, excuse me, guys and women on YouTube, and get what they have to say on how they sell their stuff. And get a whole bunch of ideas. Take some from this video. Take some from this video. Take some from my video. Put it all together. Shake it up. And see what's going to work for you. So. I'm Scott from Cowboy Leather and Shoe Repair. Hope everybody has a good week. And uh, look forward to another video about Thursday, Friday. Everybody. Again, have a good day. Bye now.